Here I was like, oh, hey. Maybe. Maybe we could get lucky, but no. I think the lower level the unit, the more likely they're out to be outright dead. Wait, huh? Oh, the, in Radiant Dawn, does it say they got wounded? I don't know, man. I, I'm kind of confused at this point. I'm gonna be honest. I want Zelgius meatball so bad. I know all the story now. I don't know the story yet, but I wish I did. If you play the game again on the same save file, you get the Peleus. Peleus? And you can have Sephiran for the last chapter. Ooh. Jesus, mages. Mecha guide. Mecha? Mecha Mecha? Mecha Leon. Goodbye. Hmm? What? Not really. Oh god, Debton. Mm. Oh, thank god Debton can't be reached. Devdin is very close to death. Ooh, killing. Ooh. That was very nasty, Mia. Mia! Oh my god. Mia literally just was like, no, I'm going first, and second of all, you're dead. Yes. Let me just defeat the boss. I want the bonus XP. Oh my god, you have 50 health. Hold on. Planning is required. Eight. So eight plus... 30 or Brave Bow. 44. Yeah, sure, when I use the Brave Bow. What? Yeah, that's cool. Hey, robes, they get so much to scratch. You better get to healing. One, two, three, four.
four. Seven health remaining. There are so many good characters in the next game. I wonder how your characters will change. Clarion, I'm excited. I'm sure there are way more characters even, so I'm excited to get into it. Uh, should have brought more priests or some babies. Dang. I was not taking any more chances. I could not. Devden was almost dead and trapped, but we beat the boss and we did it. Thank you very much. I never imagined that we would be rescued by soldiers of an enemy nation. There's no way we'd cut down innocent priests being forced to fight against their wills. And yet, we weren't able to save everyone. Minus one. Peace, my lord. We were expecting to be killed at once. And yet, you rescued so many of us. Father, we bear no ill will toward the Kingdom of Dane itself. We wish only to reclaim the homeland which was unjustly taken from us. That is the reason we fight. We have no desire to invade this land. If nothing else, please believe that. I beg your pardon. I have the favor of your name. Alencia Retail Crimea. I'm the sole survivor of the Crimean royal family. Oh, you! Let us give thanks that you are alive and well. And please, I beg your understanding as well. There are many Danes who do not support the king's actions. I understand. Now it's time to search this place. She's like half deaf, leave her alone. <laughs> that's so mean. My Lord Ike, may I join you? Sure, why not? Everyone's lending it. Ike, Ike, where are you? Missed him over here. Ike, this way, quickly, race into trouble! What? What? Racing, what is it? Uh, he's been like this from the moment he set foot in this room. He's just staring at the walls. Oh, it's written. What is all this? Every wall is the same pattern on it. It's not a pattern. It's an ancient language. All chants and spells and magic scrolls and written thusly. Can you read it, Soren? Some, but not all. Spells are simple, whereas this is complex narrative. I think Prince Racin can read it. Oh god, if I need translations, can someone please translate for me? Meatball. <laughs> I bet this is the same la language that Leanne was speaking. Yep, Meatball, please. It is. It's the Serenus language. Their chants are all in this language, too. So Racin is reading what's written on the walls? It appears that way. Shall we leave him be? There's a lot of writing here. This could take hours. I think that's a good idea. There's only one thing that needs to be translated, it's a name. Okay. Ike, what is it? From what I could gather, I think a person was locked in this room sometime in the past. You know who it was, don't you? I wasn't able to read enough of the writing, but I found this under the bed. Is this? I think this must have belonged to whoever was imprisoned in this room. I apologize. I took much of your time. Rayson, you don't look so good. Why don't you rest for a bit? No, I'm fine. It's more important that we talk. About the owner of this feather? Was it in that room? Zorn found it. Where- whose was it? Lilia. My older sister. The writing on the walls is hers. Wait, what's your Ashtonard voice? Oh, dude, you got, you gotta go back. You gotta go back. It was it was a uh, last Fire Emblem stream. I voiced Ashnard, and and uh, Shiloh loved it. Shiloh absolutely loved it. You have an older sister too. Will you tell us about it? She was kidnapped twenty years ago, on the night of the Serenus massacre. I I thought that Lilia had been murdered along with the other brothers and sisters. I believed that until today. Who took her? The walls say only that he was a large human. She probably never knew who it was. He 
thrust a clan treasure at her and demanded that she use her magic to revive the thing sealed inside it. He exhorted her again and again, but to no avail. Lilia refused his request every time, because she did not possess that power. Someone wanted to revive the Dark God! Shortly after she was brought here, Lilia fell ill and collapsed. I'm not surprised, it was a terrible time. She was imprisoned in that tiny room, with no view of the earth or sky. Hey everybody, how are you all? I'm doing good. How are you, uh, girl child? Girl child? Girl? Or child? What do you prefer to be called? Oh, that's off sniff, sniff. Mist. I'm sorry, I just feel so sad for Lilia and for, for Rayson too. I beg your pardon. Please let me continue. A young Bjork began coming to the room to care for Lilia. She had bluish hair and blue eyes, and her heart was unusually pure for a Bjork. In time, Lilia and she became to be friends, and she shared a mutual trust. Ah! Lilia decided to entrust her hopes to that woman. They shared no common language, so it took time. But eventually, the Bjork woman understood what it was Lilia wanted, which was to take the treasure and song and flee this temple. B brother Was there anything else written about this Bjork woman, a name perhaps? Grubu Translated in our language. It was probably Elena. I knew it! Mother! It was our mother! What? A are you sure? Our mother's name was Elena. Like me, her hair was blue. As were her eyes. Grayson, the object you referred to as your clan tre treasure was an aged bronze medallion, wasn't it? How, how did you know that? The medallion became my mother's keepsake. The song, too. My parents both gave their lives to protect it. I'm usually called girl or girl child. Okay, I'll be sure to kind of, I don't know, I just don't want to be offensive. <laughs> Mike, you and Mr. Alina's children. Then Lauren's medallion is here? Um, the medallion was stolen, probably by Dane. It can't. This is unbelievable. Can a thing like this be chance? To be honest, I don't fully understand all that's happened, but it all makes sense. It all comes together. Ugh. Mist. That's the song that... But the melody is a little different, isn't it? It's the, so, similar to the song Rayson and Leanne sang in the forest. My mother used to sing it as a lullaby. It is the song of release. The one that Leah entrusted to Alina. But, but... I wore the medallion and sang that song almost every single night. And nothing ever happened. The magical effect of a song is awakened by the power of the singer. It can't just be unleashed by just anyone. I'm not 100% certain it has bearing on whether those characters appear in the port or over or not, but it would be a decent justification. Oh, can't find the differentiation officially. Hmm. Ike's only job is to lift heavy things and put them in his head. Peak himbo realness. <laughs> The true song of release can only be sung by a girl named Altina. Lilia wanted your mother to take the melody to Altina and return the medallion to its rightful place in Serena's forest. The stories become clearer and clearer. My father fled Dane to protect my mother, who was carrying the amulet. Mike, how did you know? Bulk told me. He told me about my father's past and the amulet, and the dark god too. So you know everything. King Ashenar took Lilia, didn't he? That would be the final piece of the puzzle, after all. The man who found my father was the king's henchman. Pike, are you saying you know who killed Commander Grail? You never said anything about that. We all thought his murder was unknown. Why did you say anything? I don't know. I never felt like talking about it. 
He was a Dane soldier, wasn't he? Who was it? Who was the man who killed Commander Grail? Ike, tell me! Can we discuss this later? Oh, uh, yes. Yes, of course. Up to this point, we've all been fighting for the liberation of Crimea. Even if we now add to that stopping the Dark God from being released and punishing Commander Grail's killer. Our enemies remain unchanged. King Dane and his henchmen are the ones we must defeat. It's mysterious, isn't it? I mean, Rayson said the same thing earlier, but... Could all of this really be mere coincidence? The fall of Crimea, Ike's parents, the death of Rayson's sister, the fact that everyone leads back to Dane. If true, it changes the meaning behind this war. The treatment of Lilia is one thing, but the assassination of the former apostle, the framing and destruction of my nation. If it was all a part of Dane's plan to steal the medallion and the song, then I, the reason I fight, is that they could have went with any hair choice. You know, they could have went with another white, and I think it would suit the character. But then it would be too white. They could have went with blonde. You know, but... You know, if it is actually linked to the Joy-Cons, which I doubt it is, I would be actually kind of happy, considering I think my hair, my, my Joy-Cons would suit it a little better. Or even if my my uh, girlfriend's joy cons are just white, so it'd be white hair. What? What? Seriously, we're talking about the Nintendo Switch. Yeah, I have the new one. Oh my god! If that's the decision you've reached, we'll re respectfully comply. If we can march quickly and know that someone's protecting our packs, it'd be a huge relief. As you wish. May the fortunes of war be with the Crimean army. If you need, have a need of our soldiers, send word. We'll move out at top speed. I'll be counting on it. I bought my Exa Switch. Was it an OLED or a non-OLED? Women. The information gathered at Palmeni Temple leads Ike even closer to the hidden truce behind the war. The assassination of Benyon's former apostle led to the massacre of Serenus. A Serenus princess was kidnapped. The medallion is stolen. A complex guide seems to seem to connect these events, and now those threads have become clearer and cleaner. Ashnard's motives are still a mystery, but his silhouette lurks in the shadows of all that happens. Ike returns from the temple and renounces all rights to the rule of Dane. Those rights are then passed through the General Zelgius of Benyon to the Apostle herself. The Crimean army absorbs another troop from Benyon, and with its might increased, marches on the Dane-Crimean border. Its next goal is the Riven Bridge, a massive structure that connects the two countries. It's been so long, and I don't remember where you are in the story. Was there a stream last night? No, last night was my day off. And the day before, we didn't stream Fire Emblem just because I got off a little bit early, I believe. If I remember correctly. Chapter 23! Out of, I believe, 28, 29. We're getting there. My Lord Ike! May I have a moment? Of course. What is it? The soldiers say that tomorrow we'll be able to see the Great Bridge. Once we cross it, we'll be in Crimea. That's what I've been told. It feels like I've been away for many years. Crimea is the land where I was born and raised. To feel so removed from it. I feel now, at this late juncture, that I know almost nothing of my own country. It is an unreal experience. Was going through some shit last night. Glad I didn't miss any FE. Well, I'm sorry you were going through some shit, but no, I would never have you miss FE. The Vajra was there. Did you get killed by another Pokemon? Oh, you're playing Mario. <laughs> I know what you mean. I don't have the sense that we're on the brink of being back in Crimea either. I don't even remember this area at all. But maybe it's because I was born in Gali and raised in the countryside. 
But countries are joined together like this all over the continent. I'm really in awe of it all. So am I. I, for one, knew nothing of life outside the royal villa. Everything is so very big. Big? Hmm. Yeah, I guess you're right. When we left Crimea, it was spring. The snows were melting, the days were getting longer, and the weather was mild. It's almost been a year since we departed. Only a year, but the distance we've traveled to get here has been long and hard. It seems like many years have passed by us. Yet this is the land where I was born and raised. Ah, my dear, sweet Crimea. How is it that you feel so far away? For me too. Crimea is my homeland. We're almost there. Let's go home. It is as you say, my Lord Ike. Let's go home. Oh. Thank you. Where's my sprite? Ooh, what a romantic setting. Makes it hard to make it appear. I guess I could just leave you two. What? Where's my sprite? I don't know. It's on the bed here. Over there. Oh. Did you put it there? No. No. There you go. I guess I could just leave you two. Huh? I know that voice. Hey there, Ike. Looks like we stayed alive long enough to be reunited. Aren't we the lucky ones? Renolf. My lord Renolf, how nice to see you again. My princess Elincia, welcome home. I curtsy, but the tail makes it look silly. What are you so darn chipper about? Once I heard the news that the Crimean army had taken the Dane capital, I ran all the way to greet you. How go things in Gallia? You're not engaged in hope and hostilities with Dane, are you? Not yet. What's that supposed to mean? In light of your army's success, the elders have finally agreed on something. Gallia will lend its full support to Princess Crimea's efforts to liberate her homeland. It's a done deal. Really? So, is the Gallian army going to- We're going to establish communications with them and create a united front. That being said, Gallia is here to support you. The Crimean army will always be at the center of the effort. Don't forget that. King Gallia is being most gracious. The posture will allow Crimea to lay claim to any victories we achieve. Don't say things like that. I'm shocked you would understand such subtleties. Who are you, and what have you done with Ike? I don't believe you have the right to speak to me like that. Kidding, actually. Soren just lectured me on the same situation when we received reinforcements from Banyon. One of my lizards thought I was food for a minute today. I need to mess with him more. Oh no, please don't. Of course! You were turned by your nervous little staff officer! Now I get it. Is he snapped yet? He seems high strung. King Kainis is always thinking of Crimea, isn't he? How can I never repay him? Princess, let's win your country back. When that's done, please rebuild the bonds of friendship between our nations. That would be the ultimate way to say thank you, wouldn't it? Yes, yes, of course! Ike, I'd like to report the results of our last battle. Alright. Yeah, 840 bonus XP. Holy shit. We did good! Not killing most of the priests, at least. Soren, a three star. Hmm. Soren, are you in here? Woo! Bonus XP. Yeah, BXP. Yes. Ike, it's late. What do you want? Shh. Uh, Ike? Oh no, how strange. I was sure you'd come this way. Yoo-hoo! That voice. It's the woman from the shop, isn't it? Commander! K Ike, where have you gone, handsome? Crud. Did you run in here to escape? Look, whenever that woman corners me, it takes forever to get away. Let me hide in here until things simmer down. 
We begin marching tomorrow morning. This is a waste of valuable time. I'll go and chase her away. Wait, Soren! Ike! Ike Poo! Where are you? Who the fuck wrote that? <laughs> M. Oh, Soren! Ew, I mean, uh, hi! Why are you out so late? Do you have some business with Ike? Well, yes, I do. Found a little special something I'd like to give to him. Do you know where he is? Ike is in a war meeting. If you have something for him, I can hold on to it for you. Hmm, what should I do? You see, I have this new staff. The staff is very valuable. I'm not sure I feel comfortable simply handing it over to someone who doesn't understand that. That's a Hemerne, is it not? A rare staff that could take any item, no matter how battered and worn, and repaired completely. Why, that's right! You're quite knowledgeable, aren't you? They look related. If I may continue, I believe that there is only one of these in all of the world. It truly is priceless. And you want to give it this to Ike? Well, I do want to be helpful. If you truly wish to capture Ike's attention, bringing him staves from the weapon off will not avail you nothing. What? Really? Oh dear, I was so hoping he would like it. Food, however, would be much more effective than a staff. He's particularly fond of spicy meat dishes. Is that so? Cooking is not something that I'm skilled at, but... Oh, I've got it! I know the perfect dish! Ah, good. You'll be very pleased. Um, what about the staff? He, <laughs> You can keep it as payment for the cooking tip. Take good care of it. Well, she's unexpectedly generous. Or is something quite nice from your admirer, Aiki Poo. Thank you so much. Hey, wait a minute! <laughs> and we got a Hemerne. Hemerne, as uh, M or Soren put it, is a very priceless item. Hemerne, or Hemern, I guess, depends on what you want to consider it. Uh, wait, does Soren have it? Soren. I figured it would have been in... Is it not in staves? Wait, did it give me the Hermione not to give me the Hermione? Oh, Ike has it. There. So, Hermione. It has three durability, so three uses. A staff that restores an item to its maximum durability. This can be very useful because we can grab items that are customized or items that are like one and done, like the Regal Sword, and repair them to full, actually. So very useful. Uh, am I going to use it? Probably not. Not until I know what I'm going to use it on. Nevertheless, we get a lot of buzz XP. Um, okay. Honestly, I'm going to save and I'm going to dish out some bonus XP next chapter. Promo time? Who do you want to promo? I mean, I know we can miss promo if we want to, but Devden, I don't even know if Devden is, I don't think Devden is an upgraded unit, is he? Um, we already upgraded Soren. All I would think of is these side units that I haven't used at all. Devden is already promoted. Yeah, that's what I thought. Out of all my main, like, characters, I don't think there's anybody to promote. I don't think the uh, Lagoos promote, right? They're only the same level, so... 
Yeah, no need for promos. Yeah. So, they're finally here, are they? Has the work on the bridge been finished? And your answer better be yes. Y yes General! Do you think it'll work? Sometimes the simplest of traps offer up the best results. Lure the enemy in and then finish them off one by one. Got it? Missed if anyone. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do missed. Listen up, dogs! There'll be no retreating today. We stop Crimea's advance here. We will not allow them to gain the comfort of their homeland. And who do not fight fight to the death will face my l lance. Any who do Oh, okay, I missed the any. Whoopsie daisy. Forget you killed some of your units. Yep, they're up there on the left. That's the bridge. Wow, it's huge. I doubt if Dane's gonna let us cross over without objection. Yeah, I think that's highly unlikely. Titania, it's time to march. Make sure the troops stay alert and move with caution. Understood, Commander. I was thinking the list was a little light. I mean, six isn't that great, honestly. Say, Ike, there's one thing I've been meaning to ask you. What is it? I haven't seen the Zero Ram. What happened to him? He was declared an enemy combatant and locked up. What? Hey, I understand you being hurt that he didn't mention testing you at all, but treating him as a criminal is too... Testing me? What are you talking about? Huh? Oh, uh, nice weather, eh? We're going to talk. Now. Is here as a Dane spy? No way, that's not possible. He was our spy. You're telling me he was a Galleon spy? None of this is making sense to me. He worked for us on behalf of the king, but Dane? As a Lagoose, he would have absolutely had no reason to work for them. But there was a Goldoan named Ina who was working as a general for Dane. Are you serious? Yeah, we were forced to fight her in the Dane capital. Renolfus from Brooklyn confirmed. Yeah. There's a very good weapon you have to deal with. A very good weapon. Do I get the very good weapon? When we attempted to capture her, Nazir intervened and allowed her to escape. He betrayed us. What? Hold on a minute. Maybe that was... Uh, if that's the case... Uh, then I can see why... Hmm. No. Even so, teaming up with Dane is just too much. Eh. Uh, I hate to interrupt whatever you're doing, but we're arrived at the bridge. Let me speak to Nazir, please. Once we finish this battle, we can go together, alright? Of course. Yeah, I figured I'd give him like a nice little Brooklyn accent. Brooklyn! Brooklyn Rage! Alright. All right, Har, time for you to get to work. No, Mom. Ugh. Five more minutes. Dozing off on the battlefield. You've got a lot of nerve, don't you? Hey, wake up or I'll burn you to a crisp. What? What? Oh, right. Has the enemy arrived? Yes. It just got here. Now get out there and do your job. Oh, I'm all over it. <sighs> what an absolute fool. A yawn for realistic effect. The Ribbon Bridge. Oh god, this is a pretty simple chapter. Well... Simple battlefield, I should say. Well, here we are! And there's the Dane army on the other side as expected. They're already in battle formation, wait for us to give them a warm welcome. Oh, that's charming! That's just what I want. Oh, oh, well said! And by the way, I thought I'd join you today. Not as a galleon, but as a part of the army, right? If it's a problem, I can always sit this one out. Of course not. Thank you for your continued support, Renolf. Ah, the pleasure's all mine. Let's carve us some Danes! Hell yeah, dude. We got Renolf! Renolf, level 9. 